Hey guys, I see that you're back with another video. This is gonna be a pretty quick video, you know, it was a recommendation of my Discord server. You know, go ahead and join that. But today this video is just gonna be on how to make your visual studio look uh, slightly better. Uh, as some of you guys' visual studio uh, did, I'm not gonna be honest, look pretty bad. So, like, like mine right now, it looks pretty bad. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how to change that. First thing we're gonna do uh, is click search and type in turn on line numbers. And here we're just gonna click this, double click it. And then we're just gonna select here, line numbers, click and then click okay. All right, and then I'll give you something to do that. And then what we're gonna do is go to Firefox or whatever browser you have, go to marketplace.visualstudio.com. And then uh, what you guys wanna do is just go to here and you guys can type in anything. This is really the uh, theme marketplace. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff here. Uh, there's like theme packs, all, all this basically, but this is the theme marketplace. So if you guys want to connect with Discord RPC, so here I'll show you guys Discord. Um, and you guys can actually add Discord rich presence and it'll show up like this, you know, editing visual studio like that and stuff. But obviously, uh, we're not here to do that. We're just here to uh, install a theme. So we're gonna go here and we're at the top here, we're just gonna type in theme. And literally all the themes will show up. I have a lot installed, but here there's obviously a lot of themes, you know. Here we have the Visual Studio Color Theme Editor, which allows you to edit them. Then we also have, uh, you know, just themes here, like Cyberpunk theme, which is this one, which is a very nice theme, you know. You can imagine, you know, at night coding in this, but yeah, that's very nice. Uh, and you guys can just click the download button. So here I'm actually gonna find one like this. I'm just gonna click download. And I should download this file for you guys up here. We're just gonna click open file. And it's gonna do this. And you guys, while it's doing this, you guys do want to go to Visual Studio and close it for now. And then we're just going to say select the proxy you guys want to install the installations to. If you guys have like multiple installations of Visual Studio, so if you have a 2019 Visual Studio, all that you guys can choose. I'm going to select the one I'm on and then just click install. Hold on, give it a second. All right, and once it's installed, uh, it should do this and if it does show for you guys like oh, it's waiting for these certain things to close You guys just have to go to Visual Studio and close it. Then we're gonna click close. Then we're gonna click uh, Visual Studio and wait for that to open up All right, and once it opens up we are just gonna go select any project really so I'm gonna select the uh, my Executor and then at the top here, I'm gonna select, uh, I believe it's tools, if I'm correct. Yeah, tools, select theme, or, or actually what you guys can do is just uh, go to file, or no, you guys can go to project. Sorry, you guys can go to project. Uh, no, it's not project, oh my gosh, wait, hold on guys. Uh, it's, okay, tools, options, and then here you guys can change your visual experience right here, color theme from dark and choose literally anything guys. I have a lot of themes installed. So, but the theme we did install was cyberpunk, which is right here. For you guys, it should only show light, dark, and like all that. But here I do have the cyberpunk theme that we installed. I'm gonna click it and just click okay. Should update and wow, my, my eyes are uh, taken away, but this is amazing guys. Obviously this is a very nice, uh, theme you know if I go into like my designer code very very nice you know bring some uh, light to coding and yeah that's really it uh, there's a lot of extensions you guys can install like if you guys are copying and pasting my code from my discord server and stuff for your stuff like for your uh, executor and, and stuff uh, what you guys actually do can do is like here like a comment code I believe I have one right here comment remover this one I actually have installed and if I press like right here if I press tools it's not actually here. Hold up. Projects. Okay, I don't know where it went. View. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm sorry, but I don't know where it went. Uh, right here. Edit. Comments. Remove all. And it actually just removes all the comments. Or I can press on my keyboard. Control. K. Q. And it removes the comments. So of it, definitely, there's a lot of, you know, useful extensions that you guys can have uh, in your coding experience. Just to bring some light to it. So, uh, that was a pretty short video, you know, just to give you guys some uh, new stuff, new content. And I uh, hope everyone enjoys it, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.